So, hello, uh, this is Blue Jedi, and so far, uh, what you've seen is the skills for Eric and Alda. Make this my main character, so I'm just going to do a little bit of introduction to just show off little skills. Um, so, I'll just show you my stats first. So, this is my damage chart. Uh, I got like 74% ignore difference. Boss damage is 80%. Damage bonus is like an extra damage that you do. It's at 53%. Critical rate is 73. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it to 100 uh, with my movements and stuff like that. Uh, critical damage is 31%. So, well, all these ones you have to be like, you can get them. Uh, the hyper stats, well, right now I just did randomly, so like, I have a little bit of strength, I have a little bit of damage, a little bit on crit rate, and ignore defense, and the damage, and arcane force is, right now I need it, I need around uh, 60, so I can do mobs, I can kill mobs that I want to train in. So this is going to be the episode 1 of how I'm going to shoot this, sorry, uh, this is going to be the episode 1 where I'm just going to show you my uh, Aaron skill and, sorry, sorry, I took a big pause, uh, so I'll, I'll be, I'll be doing an, uh, So I'll be showing you my skills for this job. Um, it's a pretty cool job. Uh, I'll tell you what kind of weapon it uses. It uses a polearm. Um, apparently the polearms are slow, but Aaron uses fast polearms. Um, so when you hit level 200, you must you must have Fafnir, and you can have it like the stats that I'm using right now. Um, so. For bonus potential, I haven't done anything about it. I need to, but I don't. I don't have the cubes for it to reset it. But when I do, I'll get it. Uh, I'll get it done. Um, so all these armors are just like Fafnir um, weapon, hat, uh, hat, helmet, <laughs> top and bottom are all synced together, and they give me like pretty good stats. But this is just like the beginner. Um, um, what do you call it? The beginner um, equipment. Uh, if you want to go higher, you have to level up like, to, like 250, and you can get like pretty good equipment. That I'm gonna try to get this character to 250. Uh, in that process, I'm gonna be giving him a lot of good equipments and I'll get him to 250 as much as possible. Um, better the equipment the more damage you do. Um, so the this damage is nothing right now until I hit like 250, 250 is going to be crazy. Uh, I'll do like how many bars? Uh, I'll do over 100,000. 100, 100. Right now I do like 1 mil. Per, per bar, so I think uh, so 100, 100 mil per uh, per line. Um, so here uh, I'm gonna show you my skills from the start. So what it looks like. So you you get Echo of Hero when you hit 100. It um, it increases your uh, attack power and magic attack by 40 percent. I mean by 4 percent. For 40 minutes, not bad skills. Um, I will be activating it, but if the cooldown is two hours, so I don't know. <laughs> two hours cooldown for 40 minutes. Seriously, uh, these guys 
don't matter because you need to have other characters on your on your um, slots for the character slots. So this one is an exp uh, explorer class. And this one's the Cygnus class. Um, they're pretty good, but I would prefer to make an iron because it's, it's high damage, high mobility, high defense, and it heals. So you don't you see this drain right here? It's a toggle off and off. Uh, other job has toggle on. I mean, they don't have toggle. Is this a skill? So you activate there. Last for three minutes and you just continue. Again. So this is the second beginner skills. Um, you get a permanent attack power 10, defense 300, speed one. Um, combat uh, step. It um, it's like a little. So it doesn't use as, as much mana as the flash jump did, but yeah. So this one returns you back to the uh, your hometown that you don't want to go right now because you're 200. Okay. Uh, Maple Crest. Well, let's just put Maple Crest on the top of my head. Easy. Uh, that one tells me what my actual level of rank is for the achievement. Um, I don't. But now, uh, let's go to the second job. No, first job. So, you get this skill right here, combat. Combat uh, ability. Where your uh, combo counts increases. So, you see right here, move this. You see the combo right here? Okay, it increases that. And you, you want that. Okay. So, every, every time your combo increases, uh, um, you get like more attack, speed, defense, stuff like that. Uh, this is your main swing, so this is this is how it looks like. So that's that's that. That's basically what it does. It it does like two swings and six monsters. So two lines and uh, six monsters. Not a bad skill. Um, you get a smash wave, but I don't really use this. It's not really good because you get like other ones where you can actually pretty good. But the most important is the you get a pull on booster in the first job. That's the best thing. Yeah, you're you just spam attack pretty fast. Um, this one is a toggle off and off on. This one reflects your uh, reflects the damage. So when when an enemy hits you. It hits them for 500% damage. Um, well, that's it for the first job. Let's go to the second job. Um, final charge. Um, it's another combo speed. Um, I don't use it as much, but I think when you boss it, you can actually um, use damage and attack. How it looks like. Uh, let me just show you. So bottom. That's it. It just swings. Right. Okay. Uh, it it does two, ten monsters, one attack I think, and it stuns them. That's a pretty good skill. Now for the second one, uh, final toss. It it just swings. It just creates a and it tosses them. Um, and then damage is 550%, not bad. It hits 10 monsters, and the enemy who's airborne gets 10% more. Uh, technically, you don't need to use it. Well, you don't need to use it. You need to get on the platform. So you, all you do is press the button and control. Uh, everything, you don't have to. But when they are born, they're born, they're um, so that's a pretty good skill. You're gonna use this a lot because if you wanna move, um, cut, um, think floor to floor, this one makes it easy for you to do that. 
or else you can get like a fifth job. Uh, the second one is Rolling Spin. Um, this one, I, no one uses it. I never used it. It's pretty simple. Um, eh, but it does like 555%. Three attacks, ten monsters. And uh, it just stuns them for five seconds. Uh, what well, next is Drain. Recover is 1% HP when attacking enemies. Permanently increase HP for 10%. Oh, that's a pretty good skill. Well, you're just gonna heal off all your HP. The amount of damage you do, well, you're gonna just heal off everything. So you never, I've never used, as soon as I hit level 2, I mean, second job advancement, I activate this. I don't take that. I mean, I don't. I don't need to use pots at all. Like the pots right here, I don't need to use it. I just use it because it's bo bosses. They do percent damage and they lower your HP. Pretty uh, simple. So that's a that's that's a pretty good skill. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to use your HP pots when you're using this. Um, slow charge. It it increases your damage by ten percent. Um, and when you attack the enemy, they slow down by like 40 seconds, 20 seconds. And when they're slowed, you do 10% more damage to them. Um, others are passive skills, um, increases speed, mastery, um, 5% increases. Well, I'm going to talk you about this skill. So this is like the second level of the swing. So when you swing, it gives you a little toggle. I have level three, but when you do this, it increases your damage by 200%. And on top of it, if you press that, look at that, my damage is went up. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah. So it increases your damage for three seconds, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. You can do a lot of damage to it. This one. Um, it's like a passive skill. You just press control once and then you just see the swing happen. Or well, you can just press the attack button and you can just toggle that and then you just kill them. Um, well, increase the strength index and there's a final attack damage. Um, so, what it does is um, it will grant you 40% of has a 40% chance to do 150% damage. So when you swing, there will be a chance that I will do 150% more damage than normal swing does. That's a pretty good skill too. Um, but, uh, that's it for the second job. Let's go for the third one. Advanced combo ability. Well, this one. Um, so when you, when you when your count is like pretty high. It increases your speed. So every 50 counts and it stacks up to 10. You the increases attack power and knockback resistance. Status, crits, damage, stuff like that. So it increases almost everything right here. So damage, ignore defense, crit rate, crit damage, knockback resistance, everything. Everything it increases. That's a pretty good skill. Uh, Third job skill. Um, let me just put it up. A little. So uh, this is a this is this is the um, second part of this. See? This so it, it, it combos up with your. Adrenaline Rush. So, if you 
reach 1000 combos for 15 seconds automatically you will gain your whole screen turn on fire so the whole screen will turn on and you will do crazy one damage like everything will be increased damage 100% 100% like, like literally you will do crazy one damage right uh, your normal swings everything does like percent damage and it's it's pretty good final blow is the bear It hits six enemies, five numbers of attack, and it, it, it ignores 15% of defense, right? And then it shoots one shockwave that attacks six enemies with a 350. If 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 this one's on, it will it. This 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 skill right here. If it's on, then the final blow does crazy amount of damage. 350%. It automatically increases. It's okay. So next one, I'm not gonna talk about the skills that I don't use. It doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of long range, like like this one does, and this too. With the first job skill, uh, yeah, that's good. it does ten. Second buff, 200 seconds, 30% attack, um, it, incre uh, it, it increases your damage. That's one of the skills. This one increases your permanently, increases your attack power and defense. And uh, no one will not like you for 10%. Right? Um, monster defense, you grow up, you grow up by 40%. That's pretty good. Uh, damage is 10% too. Um, that's it for the third job. Let's go for the fourth job. Beyond Blade is one of the skills that's pretty good. Let me show you. So, for Beyond Blade, when you attack, Six, six monsters that hits, uh, five attacks. Uh, the first one deals three additional hits with the further key press. So that one does that, and then so that's the first one. The second hit, the tiger will hit 500 for 300 percent, and the axes will hit 250. The pole arms, 350 percent. And when 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 the when, when the skill is on, it's it's faster, does more damage, crazy. Finisher, I've never used it. It's It does like one line and 12 enemies. Uh, finisher, another finisher. Um, this one is uh, down right up. So that's what it does. Times. It strikes 15 times. 
Oh wait, I have to hold it. So this one, what it does is, it just brings down a big axe from the top. So let me show you. Um, it slows down enemies and stuff like that. And my hyper skill, Maha's Fury, like it just picks up, it just makes me pick up the axe. So when I pick up the axe, I do Carnage, um, this one is your um, the whole map attack damage, so it costs a thousand mana. Well, it, it's worth it. Uh, and then you do 15 
enemies for like 10 attacks and you do 936 damage and when it when you're bossing it 20% more damage um, so when 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 Maha's fury is activated this one has half the lose half the cooldown so it's the cooldown is 20 seconds it goes to um, 10 seconds and what that so and uh, last one you get is fun rear crash so what it does is it increase it gives you one and it gives you the, the last monster is going to be the fun rear crash the wolf so that one does 505 percent six attacks um, and then 10 enemies and each strike percent damage would be the double inflict as a bonus and then it, in addition to that it gives me crit damage for sure hundred percent it decreases monsters defense by 50 percent that's pretty good um and it ignores it sorry not decreases it ignores it so um that's it for the fifth job skills and this is for um, the skills let me just show you how it looks like when i'm passing Let's kill this guy. See, so when when I get touched, the mobs get the damage. I'm I'm pretty high level, so I don't pretty much get any damage. But, but so let me see if I'm party. So let's do normal and then oh. You can't stop me! So the combo for this is like basically you just swing. So this this thing right here, the swing studies, as soon as you activate it, it's normal. Right? So when you do that it increases your damage and that's the combo for the whole uh, that's it that's the combo for the combo. but if you if you already have a max damage so this that's and let's kill the boss pretty fast I'm gonna be playing her a lot. Um, she's not a. She's she's pretty good to get her to level 200. Was uh, pretty hard because you know, I don't know what you're doing. Where you're going for level up and stuff like that. You you it will take longer. Um, so this is it for the first episode of the skill check and i hope you enjoy it uh, i'll try to get him get her to level 10 where we go to the next area and that is choo choo island so that is going to be um my um the second episode where i'll be training and try to get to choo choo island as fast as possible um oh and one more thing when you're when you're 200 and when you get to areas uh, they all need arcane symbols um, so right now this right here arcane symbol once you do once you come here to a level 200 you do 
a little quest. Quest line and that quest one. That's I mean, sorry. So that quest line will unlock uh, this arcane equipment symbol. And then every day you come here, you come, talk to Rana, and you get eight symbols from her. I already used it. I already talked to her. Right now. So every day, it's called dailies, every day you come here and you talk to her and she will give you eight, uh, she will give you a little quest, you just finish that and she will give you eight um, arcane symbols, so you just double click them and they give you experience. So a, on top of it, you can see Nina, Nina has a party quest, you can pull along, um, she gives you, you can do three per day. Six per day. So combine these two, you can actually you know, uh, level up your arcane symbol. Uh, your job is to just increase your arcane symbol to 100 and 20 or 100 um, as much as possible. And your strength will not be giving you percent damage. It just adds up to this. That's basically it. Um, well, I hope you enjoy my Aaron video. It's my first video for uh, Maple Story. And uh, and please uh, leave a like, like, and comment on what you want to see. Um, thank you very much, and have a good evening. Good night. Bye.